hi everybody welcome to live blogger in this video i'll show you how to add this scratch card effect to your blogger website so here we can see we have these cards and if i scratch over this area we can see the code so this code is revealed only when we scratch over this card so in the previous videos i had shown you how to design this using html css and javascript and in this video, I'll show you how to add this to your blogger website. And I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So you can just go ahead and copy and paste it to your websites. All right, so let's get started. Right here, I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and we can add this design to a post or a page. I'll just add it inside a post. So let's click on new post. And here I'll just add a title. I'll just type scratch cards. And uh, here the first thing you need to do is change this into the HTML view. So if it is in the compose view, click on this button and click on HTML view. Now here we can add the HTML, CSS and JavaScript code. So first of all, let's add the CSS. So I'll just create a style tag for that. And in this style tag, we will add the CSS. So let's go back to our source code. And let's go to the style or CSS file and let's copy the CSS from here. Now we will not copy the CSS of the body because uh, it will change the whole style of the theme. So let's go ahead and copy from this line of code till here. And let's paste it over here and uh, we will add this uh, font family code. So let's copy it from here and let's add it inside this main container. Right now we also need to get the link of this font. So let's go ahead and go to fonts.google.com. Right, so here I'm in the official website of Google Fonts and let's search for Montserrat. And let's click on this font. Now we need to get some of these styles from here. So we need to get the bold version and I think this is the thin version. So let's get these two styles. So I'll just select light 300 for the thin version. And uh, let's also select the bold version. So I'll just select bold 700. And here we have these two styles selected. Let's go over here to import and let's copy the code from here to our CSS. So here let's go to the start of the CSS code and let's paste the code over here. Now these fonts will be imported from Google Fonts and added to our website. Right now let's go ahead and add the HTML. So let's scroll down and let's go outside the style tag. And let's go back to our VS code. And let's go to the HTML file and let's copy this HTML from here. So let's copy from this line of code till here. And uh, now the last thing we need to do is add the JavaScript. So let's go ahead and create a script tag. And uh, let's go back and let's go to the main.js file and let's copy this JavaScript from here. And let's paste it over here. Now here we can see that we have all this code. So you need to make changes over here. So here we can see this is the heading which we see over here at the top. And then we have all these uh, S3 for all these smaller headings. And you can go ahead and change these to your needs. And then we have the code over here inside this code division. So you can add your coupon code over here. And then if you go to the main.js file, here we can see that we are passing the color for the scratch cards. So for the first one, we are adding this color. So we have a different color for the first one. So in this way, you can add any color over here. So if I just change this to, for example, red. Now we can see we have this red scratch card over here. So in this way, you can go ahead and change these values to your needs. And if you go back to the HTML, here we can see for each of these canvas, we have these IDs. So for the first one, we have scratch card one, and then we have two and three. So you have to pass these IDs over here when we call the function. So we are calling this function called create scratch card. And here we need to pass the ID of the canvas and the color. So that's basically all the changes you need to do. And here in the style.css file, you have all these styles. So you can change these to your needs. All right. So let's go back and let's go back to our post and uh, everything is all set let's click on publish and confirm and now here we can see we have this scratch cards post let's open this so let's click on view 
And here we can see we have the scratch cards displayed. And uh, if you scratch, we can see that the functionality is also working correctly. Now the color of this text is not black. So let's go back and let's do that. So here for the main container, I'll just type color. And let's set the color of all the text to black. And let's click on update. And let's refresh this page. And now we can see we have this black color over here. Now the main heading is not being displayed. So this main heading over here. So let's right click and uh, let's see what's the problem. Let's go to inspect. And let's open the main container. And uh, here we have this H2. And here we can see for the H2, we have some problems. So let's scroll down and let's see what's the problem. So here we can see that we have the main heading class in the theme also. So here it is setting the height to 1 and the width to 1. So all these values that you see over here are interfering with our heading. So let's go ahead and change the class so that the problem is solved. So let's go back. And here for the main heading, I'll just change this to, let's try my heading. And uh, here in the HTML also, I'll just change this to my heading. And now let's go ahead and uh, update this. Let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page. And now we can see that the heading is being displayed. I think we can increase the font weight a little bit. So here we can see that we are getting 300 and 700. Let's go back to fonts.google.com and let's go back to Montserrat. And uh, here we can see we have 300 and uh, let's go ahead and select regular 400. So here instead of 300, I'll just change this to 400. And uh, let's update this. Now let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page. And now I think it looks all right. So with that, we have completed adding the scratch cards to our blogger website. All right, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And uh, I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.